Hi everybody. Uh, so here I am flying <coughs> my Phantom 3 Advanced and I'm still relatively new uh, to this and I've never had the aircraft uh, do an emergency return to home. In fact, I've never tested return to home uh, except one time when I was too close uh, to myself and it just landed instead of going up and you know you know how if it's within like a 10 meter diameter it lands instead of returns home anyway so I was going on a little scouting mission over Sable Pines Park in Coconut Creek here <clears throat> there you can see some of the baseball and football fields and <clears throat> and uh, I was uh, quite a ways away I'm not sure the exact distance I don't recall uh, but it, it was a good uh, distance and uh, there were some kids playing here on the basketball court in this playground here so I lowered my elevation slightly uh, to uh, get a better look and apparently that brought m the aircraft below the horizon of a whole bunch of trees and perhaps some two-story houses uh, and it was rather sudden where it just boom that was it it was stuck like I got nothing and then of course the ominous uh, signal you've lost signal and I just stared at the blank screen and this here what you're seeing now is the aircraft on its own I believe I don't think this is me I don't recall spinning it around. So the aircraft by itself is, or and, it, and you can see it gained some altitude, and it is returning to home. Now, meanwhile, I had no control over it. I could not see what was going on, and as you can imagine, my first experience with such a thing, I'm <laughs> thinking the worst. I mean, I sat there. I didn't panic because what's panicking going to do? I'm so far away, <clears throat> but. Um, and then I think right there I got uh, a video signal and you can see I controlled the gimbal and uh, the aircraft a little bit so <laughs> it uh, it lets you it doesn't let you actually take control of the aircraft unless you push the button but anyway so it was successful I'm quite pleased uh, anyway after I came home I decided I would go um, and hunt for alligators and this is my alligator hunt I think I was about nine meters off the uh, lake here and uh, you know that was about as low as I wanted to get and it was rather breezy you can see there's some wind on the lake so I was a little bit nervous you know, I'm not going to find any alligators. Alligators like to hang out where they have places to sleep and hide, and there's no place, I mean, to sleep or hide. So very, I mean, I'm sure alligators might cruise through the lake maybe uh, once in a very blue moon, but if they're not going to stay. There's just no uh, sawgrass or other things that they can hide on. But, you know, I figured I would go look because if I caught an alligator in the lake, that would be awesome, right? Uh, so I'm still looking. I think uh, I see a cool bird here. They get panics. Oh, was that a duck or a goose? Oh my God, that terrible drone coming. I'm still looking and there's something exciting coming up. Uh, oh, I almost lost signal again up here uh, you gotta be careful I guess when houses and and st I mean if you get some elevation you have the line of sight the problem oh now see there's a good spot where I could see some stuff in the water might go back there it's hard to see I was using VR goggles which by the way sucks unless you got like a 1920 or better uh, um, phone that's what I realized my problem was yeah see so I started losing signal because all these houses are in the I gotta get back up, get some elevation. Anyway, on my way back, I see like this commotion in the water. If I ever go back, I should have cut this. I th oh, 
you know what that right there that movement right there was like not really me so you got to be careful when you lose the signal that it's still transmitting to the aircraft that you wanted to go that way that was actually a little scary because I recall it on my monitor it just jumped over that spot so when you lose signal be careful about controlling the aircraft maybe just go up anyway so here I go I'm cruising along and there's gonna be a little bit of a commotion I thought oh here we go some action some wildlife activity wouldn't that be exciting dun, 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 dun. here it comes where's the commotion there it is look at them them dang ducks it's like one horny duck chasing another horny duck it's weird though a white duck and it's like I think it's one of them ugly ducks god I hate those ducks They're so ugly and they always mooch him for food and I'll see so this white duck and the ugly duck were fuss I think they were trying to hump but then there's a third duck now look at a white duck actually where'd that other duck go the third one the white one's like underwater forever Where'd he go? I mean, you can see him because he's white. Oh, and then the other duck found him. Ah, oh, there you are. I'm going to come over and pasture you again. Silly ducks. Uh, I guess they're humping or trying or whatever it is they do. <laughs> anyway, 